family has tried many exteriors over the years. We started with my earth bag bedroom using cob, a mixture of clay and straw sealed with linseed and paint. We used a paper bag finish on Garen's earth bag bedroom, which was just a temporary experiment. It's held up surprisingly well. We're only now moving to replace it. In more recent years, we've used stucco. We've put it on by hand for Bryson and Shay's earth bag bedrooms and sprayed it out of a mud gun on our studio. Naturally, we want to try something different for our current project, a massive hyper adobe shop. We've recently completed an organic rock base. Now, we shift our focus back to the hexagons we're putting on the rest of the exterior. Mom starts the process by assessing our current stock of aircrete pavers. Well, I haven't been out here for a while. <laughs> and these have been sitting out here for a long time. And they have been stepped on by dogs and whatnot. These guys are doing good over here. So I'm going to make another batch because we need to keep plugging away on the batches. These aren't your typical pavers. They're made from a substance called aircrete. Aircrete, if you're unfamiliar, it's a mixture of cement, dish soap bubbles, and lime. In previous episodes, we use this material to make the beams of our back porch. We left off over here. I could probably start on some of this down here, or... Oh, oh no, that still didn't get done there, so I think I'm gonna start on the other side. Keep mixing that for a long time. we got those poured what I do is I leave a little bit in there because I love how sticky it adds to our mortar and we'll have a better, a better time putting up those hexagons today it's only 80 pounds ha! The hope is now with the rocks and the hexagons is to tie these two building types together and make it look like it's all one. Last episode, we showed the completed roof design we're shooting for. We finished painting the trusses. Now they're fully ready to go up in the air. This building is huge. Deciding where to start can be overwhelming. The guys decide to take it corner by corner. They got some big old bags still left. These look kinda... Blobby? And they look like, yeah, they look like big old blobs. I, when it was out here, I thought it looked like a stomach intestines. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, I know yeah. that's a little more graphic, but that's what it looked like. Oh, Jared's coming to get some more. Oh, that's all we need. Oh, you just need one? Yes, need one. Perfect. Oh, it's gonna go up there and hold down the truss. Yeah, or it's oh. gonna be under the truss, this one is. Oh, okay. I have to get mine. Oh. We had two options we began with. The first one was I was gonna attach the truss beams to the wall. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it kind of came to me when we started to get to the processes, why don't I use the same cleaving process that we've been using all along? Yeah. So we just drilled some holes and attach some plywood and nails and screws mm -hmm. and just attach them like we normally would a cleat. Yep, and hold them to the posts. Bingo, bingo. It's a lot less work using this direction, I think, than it would be mm -hmm. when I wanted to put in backing and then attach bolting on things. Oh, okay. yeah. that's been a mess. Yeah. It's much stronger using, I think, this method where the actual beam is tied into the wall as opposed mm -hmm. to tied to the wall. Yeah, instead of being like this, it's more of like yeah. this. 
Yeah, oh. okay. Yeah. Burn. Right to the wall. Okay. Get down. Okay. My fingers are stuck. <laughs> A little sloppy yesterday, so I'm not happy about this. Let me cut that correctly, and I'm also not happy about this. So I'm going to place a rock in there so it won't look like that's so bad. Might as well take the time to do it right. All right, let's go with that. This was my idea, so I thought what we could do is get this up here and then cut it once it's in, so we can get the exact place that we want to put it. This might be more awkward. I don't know. We're, we're going to see how it worked. We've been a little bit more inspired by looking at all these beautiful buildings people are doing online. And that was kind of the reasons we came up with the hexagons on the wall to kind of try to up our game and get something that's pleasing to the eye. Does that look straight here? Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, all these years we've been really focused on like the bottom line how, how can we do this inexpensively which is definitely something we enjoy but I think our focus is kind of shifting from you know how can we do this cheaply to how can we make something creative and fun and interesting and artistic it's been kind of fun to shift that focus a little bit and it also makes us really want to focus in on those little details that in the past wouldn't really bother us we had to stop here because this is where the level was a few days ago. So, uh, we were concerned that it would thump them off the walls. As you can see, they didn't budge. And they were right here. They were thumping right here, right underneath this. So that gives us a lot of hope. We have to see our progress. Yeah. We got up to here now. So that wall, not finished, but this portion of it is. This is working really good where we put it in and it's a little bit over and then we cut it. And we did the same thing here for this side. So we'll just give that a cut today. You feel driven to, I don't know, make it pretty. <laughs> yeah, and I still think that it is in inexpensive oh, yes. compared to other, I would, it I is. would think. I, don't I, know. I think for sure, I think we can say that for sure, which is again, another one of our loves. But um, I guess it's in addition to that, we have found yeah. that's been the new, new focus of ours. What I really like about it is how much Gary likes it. And it's really all that matters yeah. is that we're, we're making something special for him. Yeah, it's so cute to see him come over and be like, oh, you know, you can see his eyes light up. So just knowing that this design, I mean, the shop's for everybody, but, but it's dad's baby. Hold it up there so you guys can get it up. Is that the plan? Yep. Oh, smart. You got it? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Jared! Whoa! <laughs> Scary. You're gonna have to tack this on so it doesn't move around on us. Going into your way. Okay. Right there. Hey, that's it. Nail it. So how long has it been since you've welded? I did welding in school. Been a long time. <laughs> Attacking. Sounds good. We are currently on our way right now to Tiny Shiny's homestead. Uh, we are going to help them install a door. Well, Dad's probably going to help them install a door. We're going to be cheerleaders. We're just going to watch. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, put that nail in right there, Dad. There's Tiny Shiny right there. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. It's going to be fun to see that. That's their chicken area. Oh, and then there's their cute little building they built not too long ago. Oh, is that their saloon? The oh, and there's their cute little tiny shiny. And you guys have been busy. This is looking yeah. really good around here. This is adorable. Isn't it so 
It is so cute. Oh. Our neighbor brews brandy and it had a tiny crack in it so he couldn't use it, so we took it. Oh, Ooh, that's perfect. Oh, oh cute yeah. little entry. Wow. This is so cute. The oil will be eventually the same, like the floor level is this threshold. Oh, okay. How does yeah. this work? So there's a vent there in the wall. That's okay. all PVC. Okay. Our sink will connect okay. to the T, and then there's PVC <clears throat> that runs here and out the wall oh, no. that will go to septic. Oh. Oh, look at that too. Oh my goodness. Come on, oh, buddy. Yeah. So all the urine diverters are connected to the PVC. Okay. The urine diverter? Yeah. Is that what you call that? Uh huh. Is that his real name? Uh huh. So urine, urine diverters. <laughs> so the sink will eventually wash out all like the lines, so it's constantly being rinsed out. Oh, okay, good. But I think it'll be good. Oh, wow. This is super cool. So it's like a two by two seat with like seals and and vents and everything. Yeah. And so you just start on one barrel and go to the next. That Everything cool? should be composted by the time we get to the sixth bucket. Okay. We are adorning the composting house. <laughs> Bye guys, we're taking your dog. Aww. These are the friendliest little doggies. I'd be like, guys, it's too heavy. She's got it. She's... Wow. Look at one by three. Perfect. It's in the sky. Guessing this, we? Yeah, that's got to be it there. That's it. It's beautiful. Yeah. On the right. So, so it opens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's at the store and she was like, "So tell me where the deadbolt and everything is." And I was looking at it. And I was like, "Wait a minute. There's no handle on this." <laughs> it's like the eye was. I'm gonna be making okay. a stained glass piece. Ooh, That'll be cool. So Have you done that before? Uh huh. Yeah, good. Video so on the... you can learn how to do it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can come learn how to do it if you want. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that too. Look at this one. She's ready. She's like, y'all bringing food or what? That's I like everything they have is so fancy. How do you do this? How do you do this, Shay? Don't. Careful. I don't know how to get in. The goat will have to have the goat show us. Oh, smart. Oh, look at her little sweet eyes. Guys? Pigs. Hi. Hi, piglets. You have to speak their language. Perfect. That was perfect dialect there. Oh, they didn't like that one. Oh, there's chickens. Oh, they got oh there's little chicks. Oh, little pullets. pullets. Hi, oh. little pullets. They're so cute. <laughs> They're pullets. You look like you need milk. Yeah? Did you provide for the family? Yes. You're a good girl, aren't you? She does have the copper. Look at, look at, look at electroculture. Oh, See, we're not crazy. Yeah. We're not crazy. All the cool people are doing it. Look at how healthy these plants look, too. Boy, that's a big boy. And that. Yeah. Look at Bray. She did one like a Y. Like <gasps> oh, a little Y. Look how tight her. She does are such good I'm, work. I'm assuming she did them. Did you do them, John? I didn't do them. Yeah, okay. I didn't even know she was I doing just them. Said, was oh. good. <laughs> I came out here and I was like, huh. Oh. So beautiful here a beautiful day the clouds are here which is really special for the desert and the wind that's coming in the breeze is super cool yeah. oh he's all waiting for it he's like give me more 
<laughs> that is too cute. Ma, you gotta see this. That's great. Isn't that awesome? That's that. <laughs> You're the boy. If you'd like to see how this door turned out, you'll have to check out Tiny Shiny Homes' video. The link to it will be down in the description when they post it in the future. Thanks to Tiny Shiny for inviting us out. We so appreciate your friendship. So one of the important factors of these truss beams is to actually weld them in place and provide structure to the roof that's going to be going on top of them and tie them into building and all that sort of stuff. I'm seeing your one mark here. That looks pretty good for the center. That's yeah. Little. Yeah. There. Before we weld this, we need to what you're doing is tighten this up. Stop this. I had been a machinist for many years and I would always see these welders and they're grinding and everything like that. And I was like, I don't really want to do the grinding. The grinding's always a bit painful. When I finally tried the welding, I found that I really, really enjoyed it. That's better, huh? Yeah. This welding is not too intuitive for me. It, I enjoy the challenge of it. I ended up watching a couple of different guys do the flux core welding, which is the kind of welder that we have. Kind of gave me a good idea on how to do a proper weld. Oh yeah. That's not going anywhere. How's it hanging over there? Doing good. Wow. You guys do that. How do you do the punch? It's still squared up on that one. Oh, well, that's good. I was gonna say this. This proves, or or make. I don't know. I was gonna make a square joke, but that was gonna be the meaning. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got a square up. Wow. See the top of the two by sixes? Yeah. That's as tall as the ceiling. Hey, Dad. Can you touch the ceiling? I don't need a ladder. To touch the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so should we put like an L bracket in between the mortar and the mortar lines here? Oh. That way we can dr drill into that. I, I like your idea of the L brackets too, or the T brackets. Like bending over that way and an L bracket here. Uh, oh, like on top. Yeah. I like that. We can just easily weld an L bracket for this that'll come out to this line. Mm hmm. Yes. We could just weld right onto that. Yes. I'm liking that. There it is. Got these in here. This will be what we weld. Uh, trust me, too. Perfect. Perfect. All right, some more aircrete, huh, Bree? That's right. Aircrete all over me, all over this, all over the ground, and then some in the mold. <laughs> Well, I don't know why they don't design these better. Fishing reels don't have this issue. <laughs> Jared came to me and said, you know, I haven't done much welding. And I said, well, how much is much? And he says, well, none. So I thought, okay, cool. Well, let's do it then. And he's very adapted at everything. He learns fast. He's kind of a person to show rather than just tell. So I kind of showed and angles and all this stuff that I knew, which was very little. I showed him and he was just in there just getting at it and, and doing it. So it was awesome. As well as looked really nice. The, a good sign, in my opinion, of a weld is when you see the paint burn off on the backside of whatever metal you're welding. Because it's a good sign you melted that metal into the other metal. Yeah, with this eighth inch stuff, that shows up pretty good. So Bryson did that one, I did that one, that one, and that one. A little bit more than I bargained for, but still a long way to go for me in terms of getting better at welding. Kinda looks like a jungle gym from this angle now. <laughs> we wanna take a minute to appreciate and honor the great men and women who have given their lives serving our great nation. 
Our hearts go out to their families. May you have a blessed Memorial Day. Oh, what is that? Is this an arrow? What's the arrow for? Oh, so that is the most important piece. Yeah. That's so important that we don't even need it there. <gasps> okay. It's helped hold pieces together. It's a magnet. We're, uh, we're doing a little bit of touch up, painting some areas that we had welded. Wow, this looks so cool. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. The stuff on that table over there, is it for you to grab? Yeah, take everything okay. you want. Everything I want. Wow. He's generous. What are you up to? Oh, uh, no, nothing much. Just a little odd and in. Just don't look over there at the rig. <laughs> We're not looking. And if you do look, don't pay attention to what's missing from it. All right, Bryce, we all appreciate this. Pull the lever, Kronk. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, could we use that? It does a hook for something? I don't know. It looks really cool, though. Like, maybe you don't knock oh. this part. This could be a lethal weapon, but maybe yeah. we could maybe fix that. But yeah. Well, maybe that's what you use it as. A lethal weapon. <laughs> don't come on my property. Don't do it. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> We've been visited by aliens. You can see the queen alien has been leaving her eggs here. What's going to come out of them? Walls. <laughs> Just watering them so they will grow. Grow into bigger walls? Bigger walls. All right. Is it water them so they will grow is a, is yes. a Jenna Marbles thing. Yeah. Yeah. She says, I want to grow. Water it so it can grow. Anyway, our little alien farm here. <laughs> this is my statement from last time where I said that it was, it looked like, you know, intestines, which probably was on you. Now it just looks like pimples. <laughs> <laughs> bottom of our tamp, I think. Yeah. Okay, wet it up. They, they haven't wetted it yet, Bryce. They do it after the fact.
And you can see over there, we are officially on top of this guy. Finally. Yeah. A little over 11 feet now. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's great to get to this point. Yeah, go up another three rows, maybe four max, and that'll be our 14 feet. Oh, you guys did this whole section over here. That's cute. That is, that's cool. Overlaying each other, I see, huh? Yeah. Oh. And we'll have the trusses that go perpendicular to this wall. We'll all tie these walls together. And then the long ones that go down the center of the building, the ridges, will help tie that. So between everything, it's just gonna be great. Come over here, there's more. more. Okay, then you have to come over here. Okay. Oh. This looks cool. Wrapped right around the front, too, doesn't it? Yeah. You still have to make our cuts, but you took the picture, huh? Yes, I do. It. Yes, I am liking it. I love the two, the stone and the hexagons together. Nice. Seeing the trusses going up, the walls get pretty and go higher gives us an even better glimpse as to what this shop will look like done. We're hoping this space will be a launching pad for many creative projects, possibly over several generations of our family. Thank you for coming along for our journey as we develop our home. Thank you for watching our homesteading journey. We post a new mini documentary on the last Friday of every month. If you enjoyed our video, consider liking and subscribing or following. If you really enjoyed it, share it with a friend and tag us on social media. Our links are down below. We want to give a special thank you to our Patreon and local supporters. You help keep our content coming. Before you go, drop a comment. We love to hear from you. Thanks and God bless. Look at that herd of cattle. They're all the same age. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Give you an idea. There's the airstream. There's the little cattle. Y'all are curious little little okay. piglets, aren't you? Oh, oh. I came too close. <laughs> Here's the church. <laughs> Here's the steeple. 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 It's like fits. <laughs> we would have had so many problems if it didn't. Did you see my garage shell hat? I was telling Jared this morning, I was like, I don't have a hat. It, it needs a little shape. It needs to be a bit more shaped. They gotta work on it, but for $2. I was like, yes. <laughs> What's gonna come out of them? Walls. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bit by an ant. Yeah, well, ooh, Ma, are you okay? Yes, yeah, because I'm tough. Man, the force on this hose. Oh, you can't have the mic. Yeah, sorry. Yep, it is. Spawning, mom. Just you. That is special, mom. <laughs>